Hey everybody, it's Amy with AJ's Vintage Designs and Fashion Toppings here on the Dixie Bell YouTube channel and it's time for Featured Picks with AJ. Now, I'm going to be featuring several retailers, but also I've picked a few that I've grabbed off of Chalk Mineral Paint Enthusiast's Facebook page. So let's go ahead and get started with our first retailer. Our first retailer is Diane Castellano and she has Vintage Finders Warehouse and it's located in North Point, Florida. She, I and mean, it's not just a warehouse, she has three warehouses. And so, it, I mean, she's got everything from steampunk to furniture to, she's got it all. But I love this 1930s mahogany hutch that she did. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, this 1930s mahogany cabinet or hutch, she painted it in fluff and I love how she used the best dang wax in brown to accent all the curves and the details on this piece, but she did it very subtle. I love how she did that. And on the inside, she has farmhouse green, which is a crisp, clean, you know, country green. I absolutely love this color. And then she put um, transfers on it and then followed up everything with a clear coat and set. I think that Hutch is just absolutely gorgeous. She did an excellent job. And I love the wall and her staging wall behind her. So yeah, kudos, Diane, that's a gorgeous piece. Okay, our next retailer is Ashley Garay, and she has Utter Clutter Vintage and Antiques in Madison, Alabama. Okay, now I've been featuring furniture, but did you know that Dixieville paints are also fabulous for painting your kitchen cabinets? Ah, yes. Several of our retailers uh, paint kitchen cabinets, and I wanted to show you some of the transformations. Now, Ashley's the transformation I'm gonna show you today. Now, take a look at the before picture. So as you can see by the before picture, the cabinets weren't that bad. They just needed a little bit of updating. So she took drop cloth, which is one of Dixie Belle's creamy, uh, cross between a white and a tan, but it's a very creamy color, very neutral. It's a very popular color, but she took the drop cloth, put that on, and then she mixed a glaze using Dixie Belle's coffee bean. And you can see that in all the nooks and crannies and all the edges and, of the cabinet doors. And then she sealed it, alternating gator hide and uh, satin clear coat. Okay, now what I like about the fact is when I, when I said she alternated gator hide and satin clear coat, the nice thing about the Dixie Bell products is that they all work friendly together. You, I mean, they, you can mix and match and go back and forth with products. You don't have to worry about all the rules, um, except for with no pain gel stain. That's an oil-based product. But with the clear coats, and the waxes and the paints, they all work nicely together. And I love the fact that she actually alternated gator hide and the satin to get the finish that she wanted, but the durability as well. So her kitchen turned out absolutely fabulous, way to go. So if you've thought about painting your kitchen cabinets, that is some inspiration right there. Okay, on to our next retailer. Our next retailer is Kayla Espinoza, and she is with Discount Designers, and she's located in the, inside the Folsom Pickers Warehouse in Folsom, California. Now, her piece, I wanna show you this. I don't have the before picture, but I, love, I wanna show you this because she actually mixed colors to come up with her own custom color, and then she also used some of the other products, not the way most people use them. So I just wanted to show you the options and how fat, this is a fabulous piece of furniture. So let's look at this real quick. She mixed a 50-50 blend of aubergine and caviar. Now aubergine is Dixie Belle, it's like a deep eggplant and caviar is our darkest black. And she mixed the two, 50-50 mix, to come up with this custom color and it's gorgeous. Okay, the legs and the hardware she painted with a copper patina and she didn't have to use the activation spray. The copper and the bronze patina paints that Dixie Belle sells have a gorgeous look and finish all to themselves without even using the activation sprays. Uh, I love the way the copper looks on this piece with her custom color, it's absolutely gorgeous. Then she went over all the details using hammered copper gilding wax also from Dixie Belle. So it all blends so nicely together. Using the hammered copper along with the, the copper patina gave a beautiful look. And then she finished it all up with the best day wax and clear. And that is just a gorgeous piece, but it's also a custom piece. It is a unique color that she blended all on her own. Our next retailer is Carrie Reidenhauer, and the name of her shop is Rag and Bone Flea Market, and she's located in Paragold, Arkansas. Now, I do have a before picture of this, and wow, the before picture, you're gonna see a huge transformation from start to finish. Now, let's go ahead and look at the before picture. You can see this piece is pretty beat up, but she saw the vision in it. 
but now the after picture. Okay, this is absolutely gorgeous. This little coffee bar that she created, she used dried sage, drop cloth, gravel road, and she topped the, the top is topped with gator hide, so you get that protection, especially since this is gonna be a coffee bar. And then she used metallic waxes for all the handles to really bring it all together. And the staging on this piece is also pretty spectacular, I love it. Did, look at the sign in there. Mom, don't forget to pick us up again. <laughs> that, now that's pretty creative. You know, when it comes to staging, I mean, this piece is beautiful, but her staging is also right on point. And adding that little sign in there with that uh, funny little message brings it all together. I absolutely loved it. And that's what drew my attention to this piece. Not just the huge transformation, but the staging and the picture. And, and she just did a great job. I absolutely love it. Our next retailer is Kelly Cullum. And she has the Shabby Farmhouse located in Canton, Texas. Now, this piece really has a pop of color to it. She started off at the bottom with aubergine, she blended up into the amethyst, and she finished off with the lucky lavender. The purples are so rich, and they're a gorgeous pop of color, and that hardware, everything just comes together so nicely. She did a fabulous job, and aubergine is such a rich color, and it blends so well with the other, well, pretty much a lot of the colors that Dixie Belle has. Aubergine is a very versatile color, but she did a great job blending it together with the amethyst and the lavender. I love this piece. Our next retailer is Zan Walker of The Other Side Vintage, located in Tallahassee, Florida. I have to show you the before picture first because it's absolutely adorable. Check out what's on top of the dresser, not just the dresser that's being transformed, but the <laughs> what's on top. It drew my attention right away. It's absolutely adorable. Take a look at the before picture. It's not that bad of a piece to start off with, but it definitely needs to be updated. Now, be ready for this. This is bright, bold, and fun. Take a look. Okay, they had fun with this one. They cleaned it with white lightning, but they used Honky Tonk Red, Peony, Flamingo with a clear coat and glossy, and then they used a transfer from uh, Prima. It just had, I mean, the Gypsy transfer along with the bright colors of the Peony, the Flamingo, and the Honky Tonk Red. Just, it's just a gorgeous look. It's fun, it's a pop of color. So from start to finish, this is a fabulous transformation. Way to go. Our next retailer is Virginia Bittinger, and uh, she also has another name. It goes by AKA Artsy Vava. <laughs> and the name of her shop is Junk Mama's General Store in Fayetteville, Georgia. Okay, I do have a before picture and an after picture for this one, but I love it when I get to see the before pictures. Let's show you the before picture. Now this chest has you know, an oriental feel to it. It's got a lot of brass and metal hardware. I mean, it's not bad looking, but it definitely needs to be updated. And wait until you see how she updated it. She did a great job. Take a look at that. She used a mix of several products. She started off with pine cone. She added some bronze patina paint, some blue activation spray. The hardware that she did, you can achieve that look by using Dixie Belle's silver gilding wax. And so it pretty much updated everything. This doesn't look like an oriental cabinet anymore, or an oriental chest. I absolutely love this piece. Good job, I love your use of patina on this one. Okay, now it's time to show you the, the pieces that I grabbed off of Chalk Mineral Paint Enthusiast Facebook page. Uh, the first one comes from Jillian Clemente. Now look at this, this is just so fun. I wanted to show you this because this is not something you see every day. She did a great job using, well first of all, she her, the paint color she used was Dixie Belle Sea Glass, Pure Ocean, but then she used some grunge glaze but I love how she freehanded the octopus. So that the octopus is done in stain, and it looks like she painted then around the outline of the octopus to give that you know that nautical feel. This is such a unique way to incorporate a different look using all the Dixie Belle products. I had to share this with you because this, that piece is so cool, it's so original, and it is so fun. Okay, this next makeover is by Judy Savage Jones. I wanted to show you another kitchen makeover because it's not just furniture that we can use the Dixie Belle paint on. The, the Dixie Belle paint is a great paint if you want to do an update on your kitchen, on your bathroom, on your cabinets. You know, some people are afraid to use chalk paint in the kitchen. And I'm here to show you, I mean, it's been done and a lot of people are doing it. So take a look at this transformation. Okay, so she started off with just a basic bare kitchen cabinet look and she added manatee gray and then finished it off with gator hide. 
So just simply adding one color to update and freshen up the look of her kitchen, that is a huge transformation. And I absolutely love how her cabinets now match better with her countertops and her backsplash. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous makeover. So if you're thinking about redoing your kitchen, contact one of our local retailers and see if they do kitchens and they can help you out. And our last one is Tina Gesslinger Cortez Cruz. Okay, and her piece is a lot of fun. I do have a before picture. I'm so glad I have a before picture on this one because this is a huge transformation. Okay, let's take a look at the before picture. Now this desk, you know, seen its better days, definitely. Now, wait until you see the after picture. The colors that she used in this piece, you can see some caviar, some cotton, some hurricane gray. She did gold leafing in between. Look at the, I mean, the Harlequin checkerboard pattern. Uh, she used warm gold gilding waxes on the edges for details. And then that is a transfer from Redesign with Prima. Now, that piece is gorgeous and it's a lot of fun. It's a little bit of whimsy, but you got the flowers in there and um, just, I love the direction that she went. There's so many different styles and mediums in there. Absolutely gorgeous and a huge transformation. Okay, well that is my picks for this month. And don't worry, I do this every month. So next month you might be featured in Featured Picks with AJ here on the Dixie Bell YouTube channel. So make sure you're posting your projects, your finished projects. And if you have before pictures, make sure you're posting those in the Chalk Mineral Paint Enthusiast Facebook page and list all the products that you use to get that look. And then maybe you'll be featured in a future episode of Featured Fix with AJ here on the Dixie Bell YouTube channel. Okay, well, this is Amy with AJ's Vintage Designs and Fashion Toppings. Don't forget to check out my Facebook page at AJ's Vintage Designs. Also, I have a YouTube channel called Fashion Toppings that you can check out painting, sewing, and crafting as well. And don't forget to like and subscribe here at the Dixie Bell YouTube channel and click on that little bell so that you're notified each and every time a video is uploaded. Okay. Well, until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.